Listen and practice. My friend Tom is sick. Last week, my friend Tom was sick. Tom lives next door to me. We are both students in the same school. But I noticed that Tom was not at school last Monday. I called Tom on the telephone on Monday night after school and asked if he was feeling well. He said that he was feeling sick. I decided to make Tom a hot dinner. First, I cooked a delicious soup with chicken and rice. Then, I boiled water for tea. Finally, I took the soup and tea next door. Tom was so happy to have a hot meal. After he ate the soup and drank the tea, he felt much better. Repeat after me. My friend Tom is sick. My friend Tom is sick. My friend Tom is sick. Last week, my friend Tom was sick. Last week, my friend Tom was sick. Last week, my friend Tom was sick. Tom lives next door to me. Tom lives next door to me. Tom lives next door to me. We are both students in the same school. We are both students in the same school. We are both students in the same school. But I noticed that Tom was not at school last Monday. But I noticed that Tom was not at school last Monday. But I noticed that Tom was not at school last Monday. I called Tom on the telephone on Monday night after school. I called Tom on the telephone on Monday night after school. I called Tom on the telephone on Monday night after school. And asked if he was feeling well. And asked if he was feeling well. And asked if he was feeling well. He said that he was feeling sick. He said that he was feeling sick. He said that he was feeling sick. I decided to make Tom a hot dinner. I decided to make Tom a hot dinner. I decided to make Tom a hot dinner. First, I cooked a delicious soup with chicken and rice. First, I cooked a delicious soup with chicken and rice. First, I cooked a delicious soup 
with chicken and rice. Then I boiled water for tea. Then I boiled water for tea. Then I boiled water for tea. Finally, I took the soup and tea next door. Finally, I took the soup and tea next door. Finally, I took the soup and tea next door. Tom was so happy to have a hot meal. Tom was so happy to have a hot meal. Tom was so happy to have a hot meal. After he ate the soup and drank the tea. After he ate the soup and drank the tea. After he ate the soup and drank the tea. He felt much better. He felt much better. He felt much better. Question 1. What is the writer's friend's name? A. George B. Bill C. Tom D. Fred Time's over. Question 2. When did the writer call his friend? A. Wednesday morning. B. Monday night. C. Friday afternoon. D. Saturday morning. Time's over. Question 3. What did the writer's friend say on the telephone? A. That he is sick. B. That he bought a new car. C. That he found a new job. D. That he is traveling to Italy. Time's over. Question 4. Where does the writer's friend live? A. On the moon. B. Next door. C. On an island. D. In New York City. Time's over. Question 5. What did the writer make to bring to his friend? A. Bananas and apples. B. A sandwich and coffee. C. Soup and tea. D. Milk and butter. Time's over. Question 6. What day did the writer's friend miss school? A. Friday. B. Wednesday. C. Thursday. 
D. Monday. Time's over. Question 7. What did the writer cook in the soup for his friend? A. Chicken and rice. B. Bananas and ice cream. C. Apples and oranges. D. Lettuce and tomatoes. Time's over. Question 8. How did the writer make tea for his friend? A. With boiled milk. B. With boiled water. C. With ice cream. D. With salt. Time's over. Listen and practice. My friend Tom is sick. Last week, my friend Tom was sick. Tom lives next door to me. We are both students in the same school. But I noticed that Tom was not at school last Monday. I called Tom on the telephone on Monday night after school and asked if he was feeling well. He said that he was feeling sick. I decided to make Tom a hot dinner. First, I cooked a delicious soup with chicken and rice. Then, I boiled water for tea. Finally, I took the soup and tea next door. Tom was so happy to have a hot meal. After he ate the soup and drank the tea, he felt much better.